friends, welcome to today's video and uh, we are going to start off by putting up my hair because hot mess Hannah is always around. And so we're going to start with some liquid latex and cotton balls and as you can see I'm a hot mess always and forever. And I'm just going to kind of roll them out and kind of separate them like that. It is easier to do smaller pieces, but I was trying to build up a prosthetic that I can use at my haunted house. And it kind of worked and it kind of didn't. But anyway, you're just going to put down the latex, put on the cotton, and then put latex over the cotton. And you're going to continue that process until the entire bottom half of your face is covered in cotton and latex. And you can't breathe too much, but... I mean, it looks cool. You just can't eat and drink. Uh, I would suggest only doing this for a very small amount of time or leaving your mouth open so you can breathe and possibly eat. Also, I am sorry about my voice and the low quality of this right now. I cannot find my uh, headphones with the mic on it because I'm cheap and I don't want to buy a real one. So it probably sounds bad. Plus, allergies are the worst thing ever. So that's what's going on. And I don't know if you caught that, but I did put a little bit of another layer of latex right on top to kind of give the effect that the skin was lifted. I would suggest doing it lower down because I ran out of space. But now I'm just letting it dry and doing weird dances and looking at my phone because I'm a teenager, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a teenager anymore. But, like, you get it. So then I'm just taking a hair dryer, I forgot what it was for a minute, and just drying it on the cool setting. Uh, this is a must-have in a makeup artist kit, especially if you're doing special effects. Because you ain't got time to wait for the latex to dry. You gotta make it dry yourself. I'm sorry, I'm being really dramatic. I'm tired and I'm just waiting to go to work, so I'm kind of bored. So then we're gonna go in and start coloring it up. I use this Krylon kit, this is my tried and true. I use it every single time I do a zombie. And I'm basically just gonna mix the black and the darkest red together and kind of just put it over. Uh, obviously, it looks a little interesting, so I actually took some fake blood and dipped a cotton ball in it and just put it over to give more of that reddish effect. But you really want it to be like dark and red at the same time because it's going to give more of an effect that someone literally ripped your face off. And then you're going to take some scab blood. And for this, I just focused it really on, well that's not scab blood, don't do that with scab blood please. You will use all of it for no reason. Um, I took it on a q-tip and I put it mostly on the front where the light was going to hit me most because I want to save my scabby blood. It's, it, it's a, October is a long month, got a lot to do, got a pose, so I just put it really on the front to give that effect. And then I'm just going in with some white foundation as my base. Um, I know I am already white, but I need to be whiter. And I don't put it on the eyes. I kind of leave the eyes alone, but I did want to put a little bit on the lifted skin, but that didn't really work, and I got it all over my prosthetic. So maybe don't do that. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, that was totally unnecessary. So just put it on your forehead. There you go. Okay, cool. So first, I'm going to be taking black. I would suggest going in with the purple first and then going in with the black. It gives a really darker appeal to it. As you can see, I put the red a little bit around. I learned that after working the first weekend at the haunted house, because uh, I guess I forgot how to do my zombie. But this is going to give a really hollowed out effect and really like creepy and scary, and it scares a lot of people, and it's a lot of fun. So yeah, and there's my eyes, and they look creepy, and I don't even need contacts. And then I'm going in with the green from the Krylon kit, I'm popping that everywhere. I usually take the green and then the reds and I just stipple them on with a stippling brush to give this really infected kind of zombie look. 
um, as you can see that I'm doing now. Uh, I think this gives a really fast and easy zombie look that can be used, oh look at me being stupid, that can be used very easily throughout like the entirety of like working at a haunted house. It makes it look really gruesome and scary but also makes it look really easy to do. So basically I just did that same thing to my neck. I also tried to blend a little bit the prosthetic down my neck a little bit just so it didn't look like it just stopped and then I just kind of deepened up that which is unnecessary but fun to do so do it I mean do what you want to do this is just a guideline for how to make a really creepy zombie like it's not how you make a really creepy zombie so basically I'm just kind of touching up where I need things to be touched up and getting underneath the prosthetic. Please, if you do this look, get underneath your skin flap. <laughs> Sounds really weird. Please do it, paint it, because you will move and then all of a sudden you will see a white speck in the middle of your very, very dark and, and messed up zombie look and you will ruin it and you will not scare people. And then I did that. I don't even know what happened there. I don't think it was dry and I was being stupid, so. Make sure your latex is dry, okay? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's me being stupid again, so yeah. Also, I'm just doing my, what is this? This is my decollete in my neck, um, and I just did that because I'm putting on a jacket because I'm not about to do my entire arms. It was like 10 o'clock at night, and no one got sacked today. But to give the effect that it really was ripped off, I did put some more scab blood right along the edge of the skin flap. Basically, it gives the effect that literally someone just kind of ripped it off of your skin. I will say this is not my favorite rendition of this, but I think it is a good one. Um, I've just, I know that I've done better and I was a little disappointed in myself, but I think it still looks really creepy and scary. And yeah, it's it's a little it's a little freaky. Um, yeah, I'm kind of looking at it, and I'm like, "Where's my mouth? Like, I don't have a mouth." And just keep touching up, keep doing things you need to do. You can see that texture again makes it so easy, but also makes it super creepy. And then I put on my jacket and left out my hair, which is already a hot mess, as y'all can already see. And. That is the finished look. It is so creepy, but I love it. Why is that st what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I forgot what that part was in there. But yeah, that is all I got for my creepy uh, zombie look with a half rotten mouth. It's creepy, I know. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace and love. Thank you for bearing with me. Goodbye. No, I legit don't know where my phone is. I'm trying to find it. Oh, 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 oh. I found it. I found my phone. Ooh, what's that? Snapchat. Cool.